is Jim Jasinski. I'm with Ohio State University Extension, the Integrated Pest Management Program. And today I want to talk to you about rejuvenating a century spotted wing drosophila trap uh, from one that's been out for a couple of years or even one season to one that looks just like you bought it brand new. So this is really important because the color of the trap does help attract the insect. So when you have this faded look, it's really not being as effective as it can be. So the tools you're going to need are going to be something that can cut uh, some light wire, number 14 gauge wire. Uh, you might need a, a ruler and a sharpie, um, something like an alligator clip or these other small binder clips might come in handy later on, and some red colored duct tape. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the top of this trap off, and uh, we're going to put a band of red duct tape around the bottom to kind of restore some of that uh, bright red finish that this trap used to have. So we're going to go ahead and just start to peel this off of here. And toward the bottom of the trap, you're going to notice a ridge that's here. So that makes a great place to align your tape to start with and go around the traps. So just start it there, straighten it out, bring it around the edge. You don't want to cover up those black holes because that's where the spot of wing actually flies in. And then we're going to go ahead and tear it off. And there we go. So that's the finished product. It's got a nice bright red band around the bottom. These holes aren't blocked and this one's good to go, at least uh, for another season. Now if this red tape begins to fade after a season, just go ahead and put another band around that and you'll be fine. Okay, so moving on. Now sometimes this metal hook that you have uh, will become rusted, especially this piece that's, piece that's down where the drowning solution's at. So we're going to replace that. So we just go ahead and pop this off of here. We're going to go ahead and just take this piece off altogether, okay? And now we have to replace it. So the width here is about uh, three quarters of an inch, and so we need to get a piece of wire that's the right size to put through here. Since this is lighter gauge plastic, we don't want to pull out a pressure on this top and take a chance of breaking it. So what we should do is get a, page, a piece of this uh, number 14 uh, gauge wire. It's something you can buy very readily at uh, like a big box store or a local hardware store. Get a piece about 10 inches long, Measure about an inch and a half from one end and then put a 90 degree bend in it. And then measure over about a half an inch and put another 90 degree bend in it so that you have this sort of hook shaped piece to start with. And then we're going to go ahead and feed this up through the bottom of the trap lid. Okay, and depending upon how well you've measured and the size of the lid, because they're not all perfect, it should fit up there pretty easily. Okay, go in and go out fairly easily. Um, if it's too narrow, then take it out. Uh, straighten out that second curve, make it a little further out, and then bend it again and put it in. If it's too wide, do the same thing, make it a little bit narrower. But you want this to slide in and out pretty readily. Okay? So great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pretend that we're going to put a lure on here. So here's what the spotted wing drosophila lure looks like. So we put that on the hook. We slide this piece of metal uh, through here. We put it up to the top. Now this next step is really important. So to prevent the lure from sagging and falling down inside the drowning solution, we want to make sure it's pretty close to the top of the lid, as close as we can get it. And then we're going to put something on here like a binder clip on this little piece, this little nub over here, so it can't fall down. So we'll clip it there, and it's going to hold it. And if you happen not to have a binder clip, but maybe have something like an alligator clip, you do the same thing. Clip it on there, and it's going to be fine. It won't fall down. Okay. Uh, if you don't have either of those, you can take uh, your pliers and put a very slight bend in this wire that's sticking above, and that'll prevent it from falling back down. Now, the only disadvantage to that technique is that when you go to change this lure, you're going to have to re-straighten that piece of metal to let it slide back down. So these change about every month or so, so it's not a, a really frequent thing you're going to have to do, but it might be something for you to consider. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put our clip back on here. We're going to go ahead and put this in, tighten this up, okay? And the last thing for us to do with this straight piece is just put a hook on here and that's what's going to actually hang onto the plant um, or to the vine or cable that we're going to hook it on. So we just put a nice gradual bend in it and there you go. There is a rejuvenated century spotted wing drosophila trap at a much cheaper price than $8 to replace the trap. So um, hopefully this has helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Otherwise, I wish you good trapping.